Hey guys, do you have insomnia? This is a real problem for a lot of people, including myself. And there are different kinds of insomnia. There are people who have trouble falling asleep. Then there are people who have trouble staying asleep. And there are people who wake up in the middle of the night and can't get back to sleep. Um, so if this is you, you might want to watch this video because I think I may have found some solutions. Now, I've had this problem for quite some time now, and I was able to fix one part of my insomnia, but not the other. And I think I may have figured out a way to fix the other part. All right, first of all, let's talk about people who have trouble falling asleep. I fixed that part of my insomnia quite a while ago. I like to read, and it helps me fall asleep if I get in bed like a half hour before I actually want to go to sleep and read whatever book that I'm currently reading. And if you're not a book person, you can read a magazine, just read something for that half hour. And what it's going to do is it's going to get your mind off of things that might be preventing you from going to sleep in the first place. I mean, there are so many things to worry about, right? There's inflation, there's world wars, there's um, health issues, um, you know, there's not just yourself, but the people in your circle of people, maybe you're worried about them and problems that they're having. There's just so much to worry about that by reading, it takes the focus off of all of that and you read the book and that is going to relax you and help you unwind and it works for me every time. I actually wish I could read more of my book because uh, I usually don't get very far and boom, that's it. I start dropping the book because I'm falling asleep. Shut the light off and go to sleep. Works every time and I've actually gotten my husband doing it too now. And it's helping him as well because he used to stay up way too late because he was trying to unwind. And um, now he has adopted my technique and it's easier for him to fall asleep now too. So the other part of insomnia though is staying asleep. Uh, there are many things that can wake you up at night, whether it's to get up to go to the bathroom, which happens a lot when you get older or it might be external things outside your house, like trains. <laughs> Word of advice, don't ever buy a house near a train station because I did that and uh, it's it's bad. Um, you'd think I would have learned my lesson because this is the third place I've lived that was near a train station, three different train stations each time I moved. And this one is the worst of all because it's freight trains. And they idle at the station and make a lot of noise for a long time before they finally leave. I guess they have to unpack shipments or load shipments on the train. So anyways, I digress. But there's a lot of things. Maybe it, you live in a city, a big city. Maybe there's traffic. Maybe there's sirens. Maybe you have noisy neighbors. So there's a lot of reasons why you could get woken up in the middle of the night. And um, so I was waking up every night and then I would start thinking about stuff, the same kind of stuff that keeps you from falling asleep in the first place. And I couldn't get back to sleep no matter what I did. I would toss and turn and toss and turn and I could not get back to sleep. I couldn't shut my mind down. So my solution to that is the same thing as what I do to fall asleep originally. Now, I asked my husband when I woke up last night, I said, if I put this light on, is that going to keep you awake? He said, no, go ahead, because he knows I have this problem with staying asleep. So I put the light on, picked up my book, went back to reading my book, and after just a few pages, boom, was tired enough or shut my mind off enough of the other things to go back to sleep. So I don't know. I never wanted to try that before because I was thinking that if I put the light on, it would keep him awake. But he said, no, it, it won't. Go ahead. Because he just 
rolled over and turned the other way away from the light. Um, and it worked. And I can't believe that I never tried this before. But um, yeah, I'm going to do this every night now because, yeah, there's so many things that will wake me up. Um, full moon cycles. Every time there's a full moon, I have so many crazy dreams and that wakes me up. If I start getting nightmares or something from like a full moon cycle, um, then I can't get back to sleep because I can't stop thinking about the scary dream that I just had, you know? Uh, we just had a full moon a couple nights ago and oh my God, I had a doozy of a dream and I it took me forever to get back to sleep that night. But anyways, um, this might be something that you have never tried and I wanted to do a video about it because if I can help just one person then it will be worth it to have done this video so find a find a book that you really like I mean books come in many different subjects you know it doesn't have to even be fiction you could be educating yourself about a subject that you've always wanted to learn more about but get a book that interests you and try this because I'm telling you, it works so good. So that is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and give my video a thumbs up if you like this and I'll see you next time. Bye.